Hello guys. Today again we will start the lecture number eleven. Okay. We are, we are, in the previous lectures we have seen about the friction part one and part two. With the, we have seen the, all the concept of friction. I think it's better to revise once again. Okay. I'll I'll start up with lecture number eleven. Okay. Friction. It's. Uh, I'll drop this. Before starting this lecture, I'll revise what we what we done in friction part one and part two. This is concepts concept study what we have done. That I that things that all the points topics I'll revise you and I will start the problems of the this friction. Now this is problem problem on friction. Okay, problems on friction. Lecture. This is part one. Okay, one part one. Also, uh, we will take two parts of this question because on the friction there are many on the friction there are many many problems are on friction based friction concept based. There are many problems questions are framed in the gate questions. That's why we will, we will spend two lectures on this. On the concept we spend two lectures and on this we will take two lectures. Okay. Okay. First, I will let me revise what we. What we studied about the friction. First thing we studied about friction that is the definition of the friction, right? I think you guys may um, you you guys may can define the I'll first I'll define the friction. How we define the friction? Anybody can tell me the definition of the friction? In the definition of the friction, we define as a friction is a force that resists the relative motion between two contacting surfaces. Yes, that is the uh, definition of the friction that is it means the friction is not resisting the motion it's resisting the relative motion between the two objects that is very important relative world is important in that friction okay okay next thing we saw <laughs> next thing we saw the various applications of the frictions how where do you see while walking how the friction is helping to us without friction we cannot walk even there otherwise there will be the sleep right that thing also we saw in the friction chapter, right? <laughs> then, the next, how uh, if suppose we are considering, in the, in, suppose the example they are given, the body is this, the, there is no friction, the surfaces are smooth. That thing given, then we no need to consider the friction part in in that force analysis of that body, right? We know that that is if the smooth surface is given, then friction is not no need of considering the friction okay and if the, there is a reference in the surface between the two bodies that that case you should have to take the friction of the body friction force you need to consider okay this thing we saw many examples we saw also we saw the concept of the types of friction that is limiting friction how the graphs works what is the static friction limiting friction kinetic friction how the graphs applied force versus on x axis applied or force Versus <coughs> friction force. This thing I also saw graphically. We saw all the things in our friction concept. Now we'll go for example. Also we saw the angle of the angle of friction. Also angle of repose. This thing we saw right. And uh, I will show the cone of frictions. How the cone is developed of frictions. We, uh, the cone is that is the resultant uh, when we rotate the resultant. Of the normal and friction uh, or of friction surface with respect to the normal axis, then the, the cone, whatever the develops, that is called a cone of friction, right? Theta is angle, that thing also we saw. Also, many more examples we took on uh, practical examples like car, how the car is moving. Suppose if I am applying a force on a car, also I saw, suppose uh, there was, uh, this is a this is a this is a surface, okay see how the friction works i uh, one more thing one more times i will tell you see this is a duster right see i have applied a force on this duster initially due to static friction there is a friction but at minimum force it will not move as i increase the force then and then only the body comes in motion that is kinetic friction though the role of the kinetic friction will play right this thing will saw the examples also <clears throat> Also in the cycle case, also how the friction works. All I think almost all the concept point of view 
whatever including in the syllabus of the gate that we have covered in the last two lectures now today what we will do on that concept we need to solve the problems right that is very important because if you are not solving the problem then you could not take a or keep your in mind that the concept of that that part right that's why we will go for solving my four to five problems we will solve today in the lecture and tomorrow also we will see the another problems also okay again the how to how to proceed of any friction problem i have already explained you about the equilibrium forces right first thing you have to do and also i have i have explained in the basic concepts of engineering mechanics that is the free body diagram right like first thing the solving of any engineering mechanics problem that is first step is uh, Uh, draw or sketch a free body diagram of the given problem then second step is apply the equilibrium friction equilibrium equations of forces summation of fx is equal to zero fy is equal to zero this equilibrium equation you have to use okay then you proceed the pro further and solve the problems given what the what they ask you right we will start up with first question <clears throat> i have taken this questions from rsc blood book okay Take down the question first, and then I'll explain you. Okay, question number one on friction. The uniform crate has the uniform the uniform crate uniform crate as shown in figure as shown in figure. has mass of 20 kg has mass of 20 kg please write down this with me if a force of p equal to if a force of p equal to 80 newton is applied to the plate apply to the crate determine 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 the friction force on that determine <coughs> we have to determine the friction force normal force we have to determine friction force one thing friction force we have to determine second thing we have to determine what is the normal force and this normal where is acting this x distance we have to determine okay these three things we have to determine i will show you a i will draw a diagram for this first for the crate okay the crate is like this right? This is a crate. See, the crate is rest on this surface. Okay, and if I the force is applied at this point of the crate, and the angle is, I think they are given right. No, no. In the drawing, this is thirty degree at thirty degree. This P equal to eighteen newton of right. Yes, here is given eighteen newton of P. You applied on this. Making an angle thirty degree on the crate, and the crate, the weight of the crate, the also the distance they have given it is a point eight meter. This is a point eight meter, okay. Also, uh, the location of this where it acts is given as point two meter. Okay, <clears throat> this is what in the problem we given, and we are we need to find out what is the friction force. What is this normal force or normal reaction, and where this normal acts that distance we need to calculate in this problem? Okay, I think you guys have taken this. I'll wait for some time. Please take down this properly and try to meditate the how these problems 
what is how the how the problems looks like and what how the solution will be try to memorize in your memory okay and first thing how to where we start then in the question what is asked to us find out okay we will go in a reverse manner first they have asked the friction in order to find this friction what we need that thing is very important see see right hot things whether they are given by this load applied load or what is the distance or anything else whatever the given or this uh, this block indicates okay like this we will see okay please take down this first I think you guys take it on. Okay. In any problem of solving engineering mechanics, I already told you you have to first while while going for going to solution, the steps should be clear. First step is drawing or sketching sketching pre-body diagram, right? Once you draw the pre-body diagram, then second step is writing equilibrium equations. Okay, writing. Writing equilibrium equations and with the help of that we are finding the unknowns. Okay, this is what the steps are there. Okay, I'll rub it and I'll use the board for may I will first step I'll do that is I will make the free body diagram of this. Okay. First steps in the solution, first step. Solution I'll write this. solution first step. First step is pre body diagram of this, okay? FBD of this problem. <clears throat> See how the pre body diagram comes. Uh, I think if the G value is not given, you you take G equal to if not given, then you, you have to take G is equal to 9.81 meter per second square, okay? If sometimes the what happens in the exam they are given as a 10 meter per second square that time you have to use that value in this case we will use 9.81 okay now the 80 newton of force is applied this is also the weight of the weight is 20 kg for in order to find that weight what we have to do see how how the pre bottle diagram comes uh, the force P is acting here it's at an angle 40 or 80 newton of force P is acting here it's an angle of 30 degree and at a distance of 0.2 meter right 0.2 meter and the weight is acting at this point this is 0.4 and this is 0.4 right because this is 0.8 meter from center distance this is 0.4 this is 0.4 the weight the, now the value of the weight they are given in kg we have to convert it in newton okay weight is equal to mass into gravity right the mass they are given that is 20 kg they are given right we have to multiply it by 9.81 so that we will get the weight right how much the force of attraction once weight we already saw this is the weight of this crate right they are given down on crate or block you can you can say it's a blue weight of the block okay if you find the word crate it's too much difficult then please calculate this and tell me the answer for this I think it comes to around 196 or please check the answer it's I think it's 196.2 Newton is coming okay as per my answer but I am writing the answer but it's your duty to check cross check the answer because answers are very important if you missed the answer if you wrongly correct answer the answer then it's very totally the problem will wrong because in the design this this the answers are very important, right? And you know, dimensions plays important role. That's why this is very important. Okay. Okay. We do nah, Okay. We do, uh, what is this? Is oh, this is a weight now? Okay. We'll go ahead. One nine six point two. This is a weight is acting in downward direction. In the in the pre body yet we do, will not complete the pre body We need to complete, right? Now. In the period next step comes the normal 
फोर्स दिस पीज एक्ट फ्रॉम बाय दिस सरफेस टू थ्री ना फोर डायरेक्शन ओके दैट इज सी वन थिंग द फोर्स पीज एक्टिंग लाइक दिस ओके इन द प्रीवियस आई लेक्चर सपोज द फोर्स पीज लाइक दिस then one component force is from this side and one is from this one from y axis and one component of this p is x axis right because of this because of this result and the normal will be maybe like this maybe there is a inclination of the normal and also normal will shift towards this side this from the center normal will shift towards this side to the right side of the correct right i think you guys understood what i mean to say because of this right suppose see it's very simple suppose if weight is acting if suppose only alone weight is acting then i will put directly this weight and this normal are collinear directly i will tell us because because in this case but even though plus weight there is one external force is there also that's why there is a shifting of the normal will take place See, suppose if I apply load like this, then automatically this point will shift and the tip, the block will tip from this point, right? That's why I have to shift the normal from the center. Suppose I I take the point this point C. I will take this point as O, not C. This is the point O, and. and i'll take a, at a distance this is a normal okay and this is a distance x okay normal i have shown now i am pushing the block in this direction right the block will the one component of the x component of this 18 newton force applied force will push the block in x direction at that time the block will move in x direction in positive x direction but at the same time see the friction acts of friction resists the motion you know that's why i need to show the friction in this direction okay this is what the friction is in this direction okay <clears throat> i think the free body diagram is complete now we have shown all the forces right with the distance also we have shown on this the free body diagram is complete If you have any doubt, please ask. So that I, if I am able, I will try to clear your doubts quickly about this cribbo diagram. Because this cribbo diagram, why I am frequently ask, calling you pre uh, put on stress on pre load diagram and pre load forces. That is very important, right? That's why I am in engineering mechanics. It is it is very important. And if you are basing on your you to grip on engineering mechanics is too much high then the remaining subject will catch very quickly that's why you do not uh, keep a loose concentration on this subject and automatically you will you will get a interest to involve in the other subjects also because the, your base concepts in this subjects are clear that's why i am putting this much stress on this subject okay you take down this yeah okay now the free body diagram is over the second step of solving the problem is in the second step i'll balance i'll go for equilibrium equations right equilibrium equations see in this case there are three unknowns so we have to assume we have also three equilibrium equations and three unknowns right with the help of this three equilibrium equations we can solve this three unknowns what are those equilibrium equations three for we saw in the previous class for concurrent forces concurrent force system mm, there are three equilibrium equations. one is summation of fx equal to 0 Other one is summation of F y equal to zero, and summation of moment about any point about one point suppose this is equal to zero, right? These are the three equilibrium equation equations. By using these equations, we will solve the problem, the unknowns in this. 
See, first I'll write summation of f x equal to zero. See, the force in this direction. This is one friction force is which is uh, which is on left side. That's why I take negative. This is friction, right? And one component of this eighty newton force, how oh, which is cos cos thirty degree, right? On cos thirty degree angle. This this is in this style. This will be plus plus eighty newton cos of thirty, right? Equal to zero. Okay, this is first equation. Now the second equation is second equation is summation of f y equal to zero. I have to write down this for the second. In second, what I will get see the summation of f y that is one weight component acting in vertically. And also, this normal is acting right now. When writing this force equilibrium equations, the distance is not important. We have to only balance the upward and downward direction forces, right? This distance will come when we write down the third equations. That is about moment. Suppose if we took a moment at that time, this will come picture. Okay. Uh, now, okay. Now what summation of f y equal to zero? This is minus eighty. Okay, that it is it's in downward direction. Okay, okay, downward you upward you can take positive, downward you can take negative, right? Okay, downward is negative. Yes, sure. The downward is upward is positive, downward is negative. Right? Okay. I'll I'll write down the symbol like this. Upward force is positive. Okay, and for x, this right or direction forces I'll take it positive so that it will better to me, right? Uh, 80 sine of sine of 30 degree, right? 80 sine of 30 degree. This was this kind of compound of this force I took, which is we have applied, and this is also the weight is always at downwards. You know, like one 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 nine one ninety six point two, and this N C is upward. That is we have to take this N C as positive equal to zero. Okay. See from this we can go by this unknown. This unknown we got. Okay. Now this is the For anti-clockwise, we will take it positive. Okay, so much. See, this convention is you can take your own convention, not a problem. But if you took a clockwise positive or clockwise negative, then other should be should be in opposite sense, right? That is very important in this. And suppose the answer comes the negative, then you have to change. Just you have to change the directions. Okay, then then it doesn't matter whether you are taking positive sign or negative sign, right? That is very important. Okay, okay. In summation of young children, summation of moment about this point is zero. Okay, this point is zero. Upon in a moment of force class, we have already studied very in detail of how to take the moment of this. Okay, okay. Summation of moment about I will take a moment about this point equal to zero. First, I will take this side. This young see this is see this is clockwise right? This is anti-clockwise right? I will take it positive young see x and see. Which is the normal force and perpendicular distance? What is that moment into x? Right? Wait. I'll we should equate it with zero, right? Then first I will write it like this. Now n c into x. Okay, this part spatel. See the weight is passing through this point. While taking this moment, now I should be so clever. So that the unknown only comes in picture, and um, the remaining force. See, if I took a moment over here, it doesn't follow. Not a problem. Anywhere I can take a moment. But cleverly, why I choose this point? This point, the two forces, the weight and this uh, this friction, are passing through this. Okay. The result, if they are passing through this point, the moment of these two force comports is zero. So that my calculation will be easy, right? If I took a moment here, I have to take all the forces, and then I will come to the answer. But if I took this, this I will direct this force to force to cancel. Okay, next. Uh, and x into x and <sighs> okay, eighty. This 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 one sine compound and cos compound for this also there is right. Yn x this is yn c into x first this this compound about this point this will 
make clockwise so we take i will take negative 80 80 this is cos compound cos 30 degree okay this of, of this applied force i will take a cos moment into where it acting from this point it is from perpendicular distance is 0 0.2 right next the vertical component it, it's trying to rotate anti clockwise so i have to take plus 80 and this is the front compound so i i took it as sin 30 degree into 0.4 right okay this part is over now and this and this i need should equate to g equal to zero okay uh, okay i think you guys got this how i took the equilibrium equations how first with the help of the free board diagram how i developed the equilibrium equations in this free board diagram one, one of the chapter we covered this how to develop how to do this okay in this see from first equilibrium first equilibrium equations we are getting first unknown which is a friction force right from second equilibrium equation summation of f is equal to zero we are getting this nc value what, what is the normal reaction on this block Ex um, on this block exerted by that surfaces okay and in the third summation of moment equal to zero about any point or uh, and in this i took a point at o i'll i'll take down where that nc is acting this all things is clear right I calculated the value of the friction. Please calculate this and tell me the answer. What is the value of F? What is the value of NC? And what is the value of this X distance where this normal reaction is acting? Please calculate yourself. <clears throat> the answers with me are I will draw this. Friction value is friction is coming, friction force is coming 63.9 Newton 69.3 Newton. Okay, you please cross check this answer Newton 63.9 Newton. Okay, and the normal reaction is coming at that point is 236 236 Newton. Okay, and the legs, the distance of the normal from the center of that plate is coming minus 9.808 millimeter. Zero 0.8 millimeter. <clears throat> what in the answer this minus sign indicates that C. Uh, it, uh, see, what, I, what we have done. And this is the block in the period I will show you once again what this minus sign indicates this is the free ball diagram of block of weight 20 kg right this is the center line I have cut I have made the distance x this but this value of this x is coming minus 9.08 right it means minus means it will go this side it means that nc is acting not this point on this point at this point okay this normal is acting what it means okay you have to change the directions because of this minus sign is coming over there okay i'll draw this first question thoroughly i think you understood this first question this is a very simple one i took this Problem, uh, this, this problem from RC Hiller book statistics, statistics. Okay. Okay, we will see the next problem. Question number two. Okay. Question two. Uh, 
in the question number two, first you write down the question because it's a big question. I'll write the whole question and I'll write the diagram for that. Okay. And I'll go for steps in solving like three word and three. Okay. As I, as we already discussed. First block A and B block block A and B of mass of mass 3 kg and 3 kg and 9 kg respectively okay respectively and are connected and are connected and are connected as shown in figure I will show you the figure as shown in the figure determine the largest vertical force determine what you need to determine 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 the largest largest vertical force P that can be applied that can be applied at the pin C okay at the pin C without causing any movement without causing any movement okay take coefficient of friction mu between block and contact surface minus this is static friction is 0.3 okay this is already given in the problem please write down this problem then I will draw a figure for this problem how they will explain in that Waste took I'll rub it up, huh? okay. See, uh, uh, one thing I need to tell you your interest is very important in this huh? while studying. Because see, then see the roaming. Everybody can roam. All the things can do. But at the same time, you have to spend the time for study also. Because uh, in study, they they will give you a lot of um, a lot of interest in other activities also. That's why you focus on your study mainly. Because the study, you you will get you'll, if you have, if you need a mind satisfaction, then study is very important. Unless and until you study hard, not hard, but with mind you have to study. Okay, okay, we'll we'll go, go for the this. I'll draw a diagram for this. What question we wrote on for that? I'll draw a diagram. Yeah, my, this is not working now. I think ink is over from this. I think. Okay, this is one block. This this block is named A. Okay, the link is connected to from this block to this. Okay, 
and from this, this here is a pin this pin is C and one more link is connected from this pin to the here one more block is there okay from this this block is connected this is block B okay see like this there is and they ask us to find how much load we, we in on this point we can apply so that this block will not move okay this is a concept of static friction like in static friction if you go beyond the static friction this applied load then it will start moving right <clears throat> We uh, previously we already saw two force members. This link, these two links are two force members, right? Links are always two force members because links have either compression or tension. The tensile force or compression force comes from the link. First, I think you saw that this. We will first we will draw free body diagram for this. Okay, uh, we will see free body diagram is means. It's maybe the number. It's maybe I will first. I will take up the free body diagram of this pin C. Okay, this suppose this is the pin C. Uh, on this pin C, the load P is acting right. This one is P is acting, and in x direction, this with this this angle, this direction, there is it's this angle is thirty. They are given already. If this is thirty degree. Then, yeah, this this is thirty degree. They have given, okay. This is thirty degree, and this force is F F force, right? F A C force between the link. This not only a, it's not a single point force. It's complete on the link force, okay. This is load P, and this is C, uh, B C. The load is this is this direction. Initially, while if you drawing free load diagram, you can assume. The, the direction of the force in any 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 in any side it's not a problem but what's the sign will tell you whether it's the assumed direction is correct or not right if this if the answer comes in negative then you have to change the direction if it comes positive then no need of change, changing that right the, now this is force on bc okay yeah the pre body diagram of this pin ci first i done Next, I will go for the individual. I will take a free body diagram of this, this, this. Okay. Next, I will go for free body diagram of this uh, B. Not B block A. For block A, free body diagram of your PD of block A. Okay. Now I will draw over here. This is your PD of block. Not this. It's not block. It's pin. Right. It's a pin C. The PD of pin. Okay, now the bit of block, it's also very simple. See, this is the block A. The weight of the block, I think they are given right. How much is given? I think 3 kg. 3 kg means 3 into 9.81. This is the weight of the block, and uh, the FC is acting, AC, AC is acting like this on this block. This angle is 30 degree, right? This angle is 30 degree means. This angle is also thirty degree, right? You should know, you should know about the geometry properly because it's a trigonometry, right? And on this reaction, N is coming from the surface, and if suppose by applying the force, the block will move in this, but tends to move in this direction. The friction will in that direction. That's why I show the friction in this direction. Okay, this is your Okay, I think the free body diagram. Of this block A is complete. Okay, next we will move for free body diagram of block B. Free body diagram of block B. Please, you do the. Uh, please, this thing you do, guys. Please, I will do later so that you can understand whether you, what you have done and what I am doing. Whether you will cross check and whether you are correct or not, we will check. Okay, I'll give you two to three minutes. Please do this by yourself. This is first free body diagram. This is second. Of block A and this is third of block B. Yeah. 
okay i think you guys draw this okay let us let me go ahead see on block b okay there is a normal layer uh, this is force which one this is force yap bc and there is a normal reaction because of this this is n at b right n b and if this tries to move in because of this it will uh, tends to move in this direction then we have to take a friction in this direction over here okay yeah b like this okay now all the three three body of three forces is over that is the first step of part of first step first part of the question first step part of the of this problem solving page of the, that question is over now second step is equilibrium we have to apply no equilibrium equations all these three dollar diagrams we have to take summation of fx fy and summation of moment about that point is equal to zero that thing we have to take here now okay this is first one <coughs> Now consider for for pin C first for pin C pin C summation of F Y equal to zero. Okay, you please draw. I'll tell you. You please do this by yourself first. This is the this is what the P is P load is acting on this right. I think I have corrected this as well, but this is actually the applied how much load we have to find out. Let us go to the left, like P over here. And this for the for the P summation of uh, phi is equal to zero. C P is in downward direction. Downward direction we are taking positive right. Upward direction we are taking not downward direction. Upward direction we are taking positive. Downward we are taking negative. That is it's downward. That's you have to take minus P. Okay. And uh, this compound will not any contribute the force in this y direction. Because of this is compound, but one component of this force, first component, okay, this comes and this is upward in direction because this sign, this is upward, that's why this is upward, okay. Plus, upward is plus EF AC cos 30 degree equal to zero, okay. Then, then go for next summation of F X is equal to zero. I think in, in, now this guy is going simple, right? You go in this, in this direction, force I take minus FBC. Okay, in this uh, this component of this force is is plus, and this is how much this is sine number one sine of F A C sine thirty degree equal to if I have to equate to zero. Okay, then summation of M about is it required summation? I think it is not required because in terms of P we can we will find out the value of this right. So we we, we don't need of this. FAC from here we can route FAC is equal to in terms of P and here also FBC. We will find FBC in terms of P. Right? See, what is this? Is, this is the BC, right? This is a force component of the BC. And BC we can write down as. Just hold on. Eh? We are writing this in x direction equation, right? This is FBC and this component is FAC in x direction, right? And this is how comes this will be. Uh, maybe it's not right. I think. From this we will find AC, right? And this is minus FBC, this is also correct and this is also correct, okay? Both are correct, FBC. What you have to, what you have to do? First, you have to find the AC value from this P, okay? You got this? I, is it need to explain? I think no need. Once from this equation, the value of force AC on that member link, if you find in terms of P, the same value of the FAC you should insert here. Okay. Once you insert, FBC uh, also comes in terms of this P. Okay. I think you guys should clear this. 
Now, uh, summation of moment declared is not necessary, right? This is now, we will go ahead. For pin C, the full sequence relation will be applied and we can find, find it the, we can found this A, A, C and B, B, C, both will found. Now, I will go for block. Similarly, please, you do this for this, this is for this pin A, C, right? For block, we have been for block A. Please, uh, please write down the equations, uh, equilibrium equations for this and find the whatever the unknowns are there. We are using the, the equilibrium equations. For this and this also, you do by yourself. See, uh, these questions are that will not that much took that much time, but I am explaining you people. That's why it will taking this much time. Okay? It's hardly uh, five to six uh, within five minutes you can solve this. In the mind itself, you can prepare the once you your concept becomes strong, then in, in the mind itself you can solve the questions also. Also, you have the idea how much the force this idea of this force you can change also what is this angle with the help of this angle what the given with the help of this weights which are given 3 kg and 9 kg 3 kg weight is for this in this block right and for the 9 kg is for this here i think in this we have to show in your video uh, the weight is not coming okay see see how we are missing here sorry for this mistake yeah the weight is coming. Weight is of this block is 9 into. Don't make in the exam this type of silly mistakes, okay? How the weight is here? It is weight 9 is kg and 8.1. Now it comes in Newton, okay? Yeah, right. Now, okay, it's free body arrival is complete. We have missed this one. Nobody told, told me that we have missed that. But you should, after, the, after solving this. And uh, around 11 lecture we come, but you should you should know where we are missing, what the requirement is there, and if there is any mismatch, then you will immediately you should you should catch that right. Now I saw and I, I come to know that we have done a mistake over here. We have missed that. It's not a mistake, but we have missed there. While drawing because we for this we draw th three body uh, three. Three different for two blocks and this three different bodies we have dropped three bodies in line. That's why we are missing that. Okay. Okay. Is it necessary to me to calculate this? See, this video also it is simple ones. Okay. Summation of F Fx. Some for block A for this this is I'll do like this, okay? For block A, summation of fx equal to 0, okay? For this, we have to do fk. fk, next direction force, fk is next direction, it's positive. One compound of the will come, then it is minus one point. One, five, five. P sin 30 okay equal to 0 from this you find f a over here it is also comes in front in, in terms of p also okay and summation of f y summation of f y equal to 0 okay Okay, summation of all you do, but the NA comes split check. NA equal to I think P plus applied load. This is the P plus 29 point 29 point 43. Like this comes split check at your end. And for block B, you write down the equation same summation of FX. Is equal to 0 and summation of y equal to 0 for block 10 also you have to write down the equations okay this also comes in terms of p 
and insert that Na value in that and equate. See, in order to make the equilibrium, okay, we all we see what we up till now have done. All the equations we have written and it is in terms of P, load as external force applied force. Now in the problem, what we are given? The mu value is the body will not, I'll, I'll run this, okay? I think, I, I assume that you took this. Because I do tell the final, so you will end up this. With completion of this, because of almost half hour, uh, one problem and half hour, one problem took. It is because of the explanation. See what they have given mu equal to mu uh, static friction they have given mu is equal to 0.3. Okay, and Fs is equal to mu s into n. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to equate this. Fa is this F is a friction on block A that is equal to mu s n the normal reaction on that there, okay? It is 0.3 Na, okay? From this, we know the FA, we have already calculated FA in terms of P, right? Now, we will, I will put this here, 0.774 P equal to 0.3, this Na also I calculated P plus 29, I think, nine, okay, 29, I have calculated, right? From this, see, in this equation, only alone signal only this. With the help of this, we got 31.8 force Newton force we can apply on that. Okay, very simple one. <clears throat> this is a hot, the largest vertical force P on the black on the pin point C we can apply. If this P exceeds this force, then definitely there is a moment of the block A or B. Okay. This is what the maximum force we can apply. If we do, we no need we no need for the requirement of the moment of the block. This can force we can apply on that. Please take down. Okay. I think guys we will stop here for the today because these two problems we have to uh, in the in, in the next lecture what I will do this uh, I have to take uh, in the second lecture of these problems on the frictions also because uh, see in these two problems I think hopefully you have, uh, the friction is uh, friction concept is too much you got a clarity of the friction concept right but in the next lecture also the few more questions we will solve may be more critical than this also maybe how the three motions what that if the body and we need to sometimes what happen we need to we need to tell the, we suppose the body is at rest or motion what is the state of the body we should tell whether the body will be at straight or the or the we need to state that we need to tell the range also in that range the body will be motion if, the, if this much of force force of friction is applied or this much then body is in motion or body is at rest or it's impending motion these all the three stages of the body status state of the body we need to tell that type of question hopefully we will take in the next class okay uh, today's is, is a very static related simple problems i think you guys clear these problems okay once the friction part is over, friction it will, it will not worry again. We need to take another five to, five to six lectures because in the friction part, in the gate syllabus, they have added lateral friction. There are many application of the friction part is also they have added, right? That's why it will not complete so quickly. And so it will take time to complete the friction. Okay. I think you guys are doing study hard well then please i request you all subscribe share and like my channel if you have any doubt please ask anytime it's better asking the doubts keeping in your mind better to ask somebody who you can share right
it is very important so so this is what of the today's class in the syllabus last time we already discussed the hot syllabus we have to in the syllabus one i think it's better to i will explain once more the syllabus up to now what we have covered right in the clear up to now what we have covered the clear of course the basic concept we covered okay in the static part uh, mechanics is classified into statics and dynamics right mechanics mechanics we will see shortly and i will uh, uh, we will close we will stop this session okay mechanics is classified mechanics classified into two broad categories first one is statics in statics the body is in motion and in dynamics uh, no sorry i'm sorry extremely in statics the body is in at rest and in dynamics body is in motion okay in dynamics in statics what up till now what we part we saw we saw a basic concept in first of uh, six to seven lectures uh, i think basic concept you saw the mechanics second we saw the equilibrium forces equilibrium of forces we saw third topic we saw the friction part is almost over not it's it's not over it's need i need to take more than because the application of the friction part is important right the application of this friction this is important application of friction okay this is i have to take the next comes virtual uh, uh, no later this uh, after this friction virtual uh, stress, stresses and frames that topic comes then go for virtual work then center of gravity center of mass centroids then the next topic last topic is area and moment of inertia once these all topics are over we will move on to the dynamics part right okay i think you guys understood all this this is always important telling again and again because sometimes we, we don't know which topic in where it comes the sequence you don't know that's why i'm telling you this again and again so that you can <clears throat> keep in your mind and you will not forget that and you will explain to others also okay dynamics parts this is the body in statics the body is in body at rest what is dynamics body at rest that is statics and in dynamics body is in body is in motion okay okay this basic concept we i i took all the complete equilibrium of forces this i have taken right friction part is now going this application of the friction once this is over hopefully this is over in the next next lecture in the 12th lecture okay means the problem parts uh, first problem part the, we have covered in this lecture the, uh, another there are the another different methods of problems are there we will take in next this is the application part of the friction okay further the mechanics <coughs> this dynamics also classified you know bad thing also that is this dynamics classified into kinetics kinematics and kinetics okay in the kinematics part we are considering we are not considering not considering force not considering force okay in the kinetics part we are considering force along with motion variables okay what are those motion variables displacement velocity acceleration gear these all are the motion variables with that with, with including that takes including we need to consider the force also considering considering force okay okay i think guys today is too much we will stop over here actually i think you will get a revise also this is a revision type of also you got 
so that you do not forget again and again okay we will stop here thank you bye take care good night